Hey Reef fans, uh, this is GreatOldReef.com and uh, thought you'd like to see why they call a live sand bed live sand. If you'll notice, I've been going to clean out the contents of this small tank here and uh, I use this net over here to to sift through and you can see all these little baby brittle stars in there. So uh, you don't want to throw that away. You can see that pretty good at that angle. I'm going to bring it over here to my big reef tank. And I'm going to put the contents inside. Now, challenge is going to be putting it in there without these fish trying to eat them. So I'm going to put my hand over this uh, Tupperware my hand all the way to the bottom in that sand and then just kind of let them wiggle into the sand. I'll let you know how it goes. Kind of hard to see but uh, what I've done is put that Tupperware right on the bottom and that's protecting the little guys, little uh, brittle stars and whatnot and uh, they'll work their ways in there eventually well this is kind of hard to do with one hand but uh, what I'm going to do is just dump this out And little guys aren't working their way. I got one stubborn guy at the top there. He doesn't want to let go. I don't know if you can see him, see him right there. He finally let go. It looks like. Now they'll work their way into the sand. Pretty cool. And little fishies aren't eating them. So that's good. This uh, tank is about a little over uh, two years old now. Doing well. It's a, it's a deep sand bed, as you can see. That's the bottom of the tank, right? Uh, the sand bed right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. Happy reaping.